Editing in Excel 2007 Learning Plan Selecting cells in a worksheet Editing cell contents Using Undo and Redo features Inserting columns and rows Copying data using clipboard Using Autofill feature Oh no! I made a mistake! Can I edit data in an Excel sheet? Yes, dear. Excel has excellent tools to edit your mistake in worksheet. Let's see how to do it. Like MS Word, even in MS Excel, you can edit enter data. Selection techniques. Selecting a cell. To select a cell, simply click on that cell. Thus, to select cell B3, click on cell B3. Selecting a range of connecting cells. We want to select the cells from B2 to B6. To do this, click on the first cell within the range, that is B2. Then press down the Shift key and keep it held down. Click on cell B6. When you release the Shift key, the cell range will remain selected as illustrated. Selecting a range of non-connecting cells. Sometimes we need to select multiple cells that are not next to each other, as in the example below, where A5, B3, C4 and D6 have been selected. To do this, click on the first cell, that is E5. Then, while keeping the control key, pressed click on the cells B3, C4 and D6. When you release the control key, the cells will remain selected. Selecting the entire worksheet. To select the entire worksheet, click on the intersection between the column and row referencing numbers. Some more. To select the active cell row, press shift key and space bar. Similarly, to select the active cell column, press control key and space bar. Selecting a row. To select a row, say the row relating to Ajay, click on the relevant row number or header displayed down the left side of the worksheet. The selected row will look like this. Selected row, row header. Selecting a column. To select the column containing data relating to names, click on the column header C as shown. The selected column will look like this. Selected column, column header. Editing cell contents. The entire data in a worksheet can be edited partially or completely overwritten. To overwrite the contents, follow these steps. Select the cell whose contents are to be edited. Selected cell. Type the new contents and press Enter key or click in the formula bar. To partially change the contents, follow these steps. Select the cell whose contents are to be edited. Press F2 or click in the formula bar or double click in the cell. Using the cursor that appears, change the contents of the cell and press Enter key. Using Undo and Redo features. You can undo and redo up to 100 actions in the following 2007 Microsoft Office system programs. Word, PowerPoint and Excel. Click Undo button on the Quick Access toolbar. Or, to undo several actions at the same time, click the arrow next to Undo. Select the actions in the list that you want to undo and then click the list. All of the actions that you selected are undone or reversed. Redo actions that you undid. To redo an action that you undid, click Redo on the Quick Access toolbar. Inserting columns and rows. If you need to add new data with an existing Microsoft Office Excel 2000 worksheet, you can insert new cells, columns or rows rather than going through all the trouble of moving and rearranging several individual cell ranges. To insert new cells, rows or columns in an Excel worksheet, follow these steps. Select the cells, rows or columns where you want the new blank cells to appear. Click the drop-down button attached to the Insert Command button in the Cells group of the Home tab. Click Insert Cells on the drop-down menu. The Insert dialog box opens with the following option buttons. Shift Cells Right. Select this option to shift existing cells to the right to make room for the blank cells you want to insert. Selected cell in Insert dialog box options a to cell shifted to right. Shift cells down. Use this default option to instruct the program to shift existing cells down. Selected cell. Insert dialog box options. A to cell shifted to down. Entire row. Select this option to insert complete rows in the cell range. You can also select the row number on the frame before you choose the insert command. Selected cell. Insert dialog box options. 
an entire row inserted above A2. Entire column. Select this option to insert complete columns in the cell range. You can also select the column letter on the frame before you choose the insert command. Selected cell. Selected option. One column inserted. Some more. To insert multiple rows, select the same number of rows as you want to insert. For example, to insert three new rows, you select three rows. Deleting cells, rows or columns. In Microsoft Office Excel 2007, when you need to delete data, remove formatting in a cell selection or remove entire cells, rows or columns, you have many options depending on your objective. To delete the actual cell selection rather than just clear out the contents, follow these steps. Select the cells, rows or columns you want to delete. Selected cell 13. Click the drop-down button attached to the Delete command button in the Cells group of the Home tab. Click Delete Cells on the drop-down menu. The Delete dialog box appears. Choose the required option you want from the dialog box. Selected option, the content of cell 13 deleted and the contents of cell 14 and 15 have shifted up. To delete rows and columns. Select the row or column you want to delete. Select it entire row. Click the drop-down button attached to the Delete Command button in the Cells group of the Home tab. Click the Delete Sheet Rows option to delete the row or the Delete Sheet Columns option to delete the column. Click Delete Sheet Rows to delete row, entire row deleted. Copying and moving data using clipboard. The Microsoft Office clipboard allows you to copy multiple text and graphical items from Office documents or other programs and paste them into another Office document. Open the file that you want to copy items from. Select the first item that you want to copy. On the Home tab in the clipboard group, click Copy or Keyboard Shortcut. To copy an item, press Ctrl plus C. Click Copy button. Click where you want the items to be pasted. Select its cell A2. To paste items one at a time, click Paste from the clipboard group. Select cell to paste content of A2 cell. Click Paste button, copied content of A2 cell. Moving a cell selection. To move a cell selection with cut and paste, follow these steps. Select the cell you want to move. Select its cells. Click the Cut command button in the clipboard group on the Home tab. Move the cell cursor to or click the cell in the upper left corner of the destination range. Press Enter or Ctrl plus V to complete the move operation. Alternatively, you can click the paste button in the clipboard group on the Home tab. The cell contents disappear from where they began and reappear in their new location. Select cell to move contents of A1 to A6 cells. Click Paste button. Contents moved at new position. Using Autofill feature. Instead of entering data manually on a worksheet, you can use the autofill feature to fill cells with data that follow a pattern or that is based on data in other cells. For example, 2, 4, 6, 8, 3, 5, 7, 9. Using the fill handle, you can quickly fill cells in a range with a series of numbers or dates or with a built-in series for dates, weekdays, months or years. To create numeric data series, follow the given steps. Type the starting value for the series. For example, if you want the series 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, type 2 and 4 in the first two cells and select the first two cells. Click the fill handle on the lower right corner of selected cells. The mouse pointer changes into a thin black plus cross. Drag it to enclose the desired area to be filled with a series of numbers. Select the cells. Click and drag the fill handle, autofill data series. Tick the correct option.